is unhooked. Hammock mode engaged. Thursday night and I've been trying to do Friday uploads and I hadn't started an episode at all of us working and thrashing on the trailer to get it done so I worked really hard today um, and got an episode together and then started the upload process at the little restaurant because they have Wi-Fi and then we took off on um, this little adventure all right all right we just left paved roads onto our first little trail action Oh, this is beautiful. I love how high we are over the water right now. We are for now. Most of pay too. <laughs> so cool, man. Any dinner in that water? I I don't see any dinner. Oh, look at this up here. That looks so pretty. beautiful we went down it now we were going along with the map we did have some cell service but most of this time we've had no cell service so using the map and using my phone was out of the question so uh, actual real map was in order uh, this morning Chris was super cool to go over the map with us and he made us this map a little bit more I appreciate it y'all so this is definitely amazing. a little bit more challenging mm -hmm. little middle section coming up bet there's a beautiful hand dug artesian well inside oh, of it neat. it's all spiral laid rock mm -hmm. it's really 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 yeah. pretty so it's really worth seeing the little well mm -hmm. it's really cool if you guys want one of these I'll get it all yeah. labeled out there's some more other kind of loops and stuff oh that man yeah, that would be so yeah, cool we'll thing is, that would be awesome idea. Yeah. Dude, thank you so fuel much. Is here. Fuel is at Oark and it is also a Turner Bend. He's a flying. The owner of Birds is a pilot and he flies his little kit box constantly. It's awesome. It's a kit box, right? It looks like it to me. I don't know what it is. He sees us and he's just like saying, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> So uh, we didn't have a whole lot of time this evening because I worked most of the day, but tomorrow and Sunday will be really awesome. So we'll check back in with y'all tomorrow. Looks like a really beautifully maintained grass strip. Mm -hmm. We would definitely want to return. The river is right there. So you could just camp right under your wing, right by the river. So cool. Awesome. This is a bunch of camping area. 
the strip is over there. This is so beautiful. Yeah, it looks to me like you land on the strip and they've got these taxiways cut out. You come over here and camp, which I would definitely do. For sure. It's so pretty. Nestled in the mountains. What do you think, Finley? He likes it. He wants to find some airplanes. Yeah, he's like, where are the airplanes? Where are they? There's one of the taxiways. Oh, oh here he cool. comes over the <laughs> tree line. He is slipping it for sure. That is awesome. <laughs> Look at him. I'm like, is he coming in right here? <laughs> yeah, he's coming in right here. Isn't the airstrip over there? He just lands wherever he wants. <laughs> we got a taxi over here. Should we get on the side for him? <laughs> Shut it off. Let's go talk to him. that far pole that you mm -hmm. see that's 1900 feet that was the okay. original runway there was a ditch here and a tree and Kenneth let us her dad let us take the tree out for arrow towing right and then later we filled in the ditch and added the extension so 1900 feet became 2500 mm -hmm. but the extension is a little bit rough right so I keep it narrow you don't need it right it's usable but I mean I, I fly off of 3000 well 3200 feet and I'm using a third of it, probably. Yeah. So this has been such an awesome evening. We've had such a beautiful time chatting with Zen. He actually took us down to the swimming hole that's just past the tree line. And we swam for a while and heard awesome stories of the history of this place, which is amazing. And he's getting ready to go take back off in the Kit Fox and go tuck our way in the barn for the night. But it has just been awesome. Thank you for having us. Thank you. This is so great. Oh, what a perfect ending of the day. What a perfect ending to the day. <laughs> Took off in nothing. Good job, buddy. That was beautiful. You know what this means? Hubs are locking in. Getting ready to have a little off-roadiness. A little action. Let's do it.
<laughs> you assume it's rock bottom. <laughs> yeah, I've been there a couple times. I've got experience. Okay. okay. With rock bottom. <laughs> like, that cooler makes a lot of noise. <laughs> Dang, I wish I was outside filming this. Alright, so we need air ride seats. We're making a list. <laughs> New suspension. That's pretty bumpy. Kidney belt. <laughs> Lose my beer gun because it's flopping all over the place. <laughs> that was beautiful. Oh, yeah, there's our trailer. That's awesome. What an awesome day we're having. We did some wheeling this morning in Betty Boot Bronco. We took some beautiful trails and did a little bit of climbing, a little bit of running through the water. That was really fun. And then we headed down to the airport because there was a lot of air traffic. We met a handful of really cool pilots and even got to go up with a new friend of ours, Dale, who has an airplane called Speedy. And he even does some YouTube as well, so you gotta check him out. But Man, was it a gorgeous flight. Check it out. been a really really cool just hanging out here at the airport talking with all the pilots getting the lay of the land and it was really cool for Aaron to be able to fly their right seat with Dale and get a sight picture of the runway and the approach for landing and now we are getting ready to go take a dip in the river and cool off a little bit and enjoy some of the natural state Arkansas you have a friend, Finley? She's your friend, buddy. She's your friend. Yeah, we like that. So we just hit camp, dropped Finley off in the trailer, poor Finley. And we are heading over to the restaurant to have a late lunch. It's like four o'clock. Um, but we could not drive by these trails without doing just a little bit of trail riding. Aaron's been doing all the driving and I was excited that 
he jumped in the passenger seat. Thanks, babe. Uh -huh. And I'm getting to do a little bit of cruising. I mean, we're just in two-wheel drive, but it's still fun. definitely be returning in Ellie. There is so much beauty, so much gorgeousness <laughs> to be enjoyed here and we are just having a blast tooting around the grounds. There is so much property to just cruise around, cruise the trails and the four-wheel drive. That is one thing that we'll miss when we bring Ellie in is not having the Bronco here to cruise trails but this is just an awesome. We had such a blast at Birds and we look forward to showing you more of our adventures. Look forward to seeing that on future episodes.